So again, these powerful features, the, really the most powerful one I think is this sharing URL feature. We have some sharing capabilities in Juicebox Desktop, but, um, but Juicebox on the web has, has a really nice way of doing it. Um, so the way to share, I think I've shown it already, but I'll show it again. I mean, you saw the links that you can click. You just click the share button. It brings up a tiny URL. That's your tiny URL that you send an email, that you tweet, that you can also write code to embed um, on your on your page. If you do that, I think this is going to show up as as the the um, map that you wanted to look at. Or you can also make a QR code, and QR code is going to go to that tiny URL. And this is great for posters. So we do this all the time on our posters. Sometimes also when you know just in our presentations. Um, but it's really convenient for posters because people can come up to your poster with their cell phone and just take a picture of your QR code, and then they are on their little phone browsing uh, browsing the map that you that you put on and it's just a really nice way to um, to not have to um, sorry this bar is in the way to not have to um, tell people that like people might look at your map and they say oh I don't know what if you change the color scale so I change the color scale here you know but maybe these features are just like Maybe you're just faking me out because like you could change the color scale. I mean, you can change the color scale to a point where there are no differences if you turned off. Oh, and I forgot to show you that. You can also, um, I'm not going to turn things off right now. So if you go to this three, three uh, bar menu, and now, as we had learned earlier, there's this TV annotation. Now there's features loaded. So now you can do things to change them. You can change their color. You can change their order. The order you might want to change if, for example, you have features that are overlapping each other. So it's kind of like the features in um, PowerPoint where you have like bring to front, send to back, that kind of thing. So this would be like a bring to front, send to back kind of uh, feature thing. So if you wanted to make sure that if you had overlapping features to know they were there. But the other way to know that it would just be to turn them off. So you can turn them off with the eye. So turn that off, turn that off. So if you turn it off, in my opinion, and say we do that over here and we turn them off as well. They're still there, by the way. So you can always go back to that menu and turn them back on again. But you could probably mess with this color scale enough that the maps will look exactly the same. Um, so you just want to make sure that if you're telling somebody something like that and they're like, I don't know if I believe you, you know, maybe you messed with the color scale. You say, well, look, I have this link. Just click on this link. And you can mess with the color scale yourself, and you can decide if you believe it or not. And you can load, you know, if somebody says, oh, that's so interesting, but I'm wondering about this particular transcription factor. You say, oh, well, just load the map, and you can load the transcription factor and see if, see if you see it there as well. So that is one of the features that we really prize in, uh, in Juicebox on the web.